Well, the mountain pine beetle is just starting to impact this part of the world. And further north, it is really devastating some huge tracts of pine forests. What, what it's doing, it's, it's uh, taking out the mature lodgepole pine forests. And what, we, what we're concerned about now is it's going to take 60 to 80 years to grow another mature pine forest. And what we need to do is identify and preserve and uh, help teach what, what parts of our culture are, are affected by the, by the lodgepole pine forest so that in 60 to 80 years our, our future generations will be able to still continue to practice our Aboriginal rights and cultures and enrich their own culture by being able to um, utilize the pine forests. Okay, take a look at this tree here. You see all these little things? That's where the bark beetle is. That's where they bore in. When the beetle bores into the tree, it, the tree fights back by producing pitch to try to push it out. And a healthy tree with just a few bugs will protect itself, but when there's literally hundreds, if not thousands of beetles in this one tree, the tree can't, can't compete. Where, where the, the lodgepole pine is, say, 90% of the forest is up in the Williams Lake, Quinell, Prince George and West areas. Uh, and there you can fly, I've flown in an airplane, uh, you know, three, 4,000 feet up, and we've flown at 200 miles an hour for an hour and a half, and, and all you can see in all directions are dead pine trees, because the pine beetle over the last 10 years has just exploded in there, and, uh, and essentially killed, killing all mature pine, lodgepole pine in that area. Well, this, these are the hills we climbed around. Uh, when we were young, uh, uh, they, when, uh, when I was Aaliyah's age and younger, we'd be climbing all over these hills, uh, uh, either looking for things or playing or hunting or whatever. Uh, so this is this land is who I am. This is you know, our, our land is defines our culture and and our uh, who we are. And this is this is who we are. <laughs>